Welcome back to Rome. That one was serious. You get more serious every day. Come on, I'll buy you a plate of pasta and a bottle of wine. Oh, no, love to, but I'm heading straight for Liz. Liz? She's making me laugh. No, no, I talked to her on Monday. Uh, don't worry. We'll eat. I'll explain Italian inheritance procedures. I can't believe that's not settled yet. Her father died over two years ago. It's Italy, my friend. All things progress at a stately pace. Yeah, except for your revolution. It's not my revolution. The Red Brigades are not a national liberation army. They're just a bunch of pissed-off college kids on a murderous tantrum. Ragazzi, il vino gratis. Grazie, mi grazie, mi you people have indulged them to such a point people. where they're under the misconception. No, 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 no. I like to see them strung up by their trigger fingers. Yes, but only because they've gotten out of control. You've got this little worm of admiration eating away because you realize, however regrettable their methods are, they're actually trying to do something. You're like every Italian intellectual I've ever met, dizzy with ambivalence. Yes, but for you people, life is so simple. If it's pink, nuke it. Damn right. We're a very forthright, upfront society. Very pure. Very pure. <laughs> to purity. Bob? Yes. Where? It's not far. My students. They know there are not going to be jobs for them when they graduate. They're right to despise the government that's bankrupt. And so we can now embrace the Communist Party. And the party is so flattered to be asked to the dance, it presents its backside like a bitch in heat. Such a farce. Well, here's the farce. How you say, nuke them all. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Listen, Leah won't be back until Monday. Why don't you come climbing with me this weekend? I'll give it my soberest consideration. <laughs> Good. I'll pick you up Friday, about four. Get some sleep, huh? Ciao, Bella. Guard against infiltration and the domino effects of a single mistake, each Red Brigade column was comprised of units that could be sealed off like chambers of a leaking ship. It was essential to the Red Brigade movement that they infiltrate the universities, not only at the student level, but key faculty members as well. 
One of their main targets was the extremely popular left-wing English professor. What do I call him? What do I call him? <laughs> Why not? I call him Ito Bianchi. Ito, you're gonna love it. Good morning, Senor Bernier. Can you find this young man a desk? Why? Because this one happens to be mine. <laughs> so you want your old job back, hmm? You took off at an inconvenient time for me, do you know that? If you want to come back now, you uh, have to take a cut. 20%. Oh, for Christ's sake, Bernier, you've got working papers and a uh, permit. Hmm? You know there's no legal work for aliens. Look, I'm not after blood. I'll just dock you uh, 10%, okay? Per oggi è tutto, grazie. Did you know that kid was snatched yesterday? Kalyani. He's in one of my classes, yes. I heard he was a Red Brigade's groupie. And that the whole thing was a setup to get money out of his parents. Does that surprise you? What surprises me is that these people like the Kalyani are still around to get themselves kidnapped. Most of those flamboyantly rich Italian families have fled to Paris, to New York, or Switzerland for the duration. Surely he's coming home Monday? That's what she said. I thought there was practically nothing left in her father's estate. No. <clears throat> Not after taxes. Look, Itala, you're her cousin. You know her better than anyone. There's a chance, just a chance. I may be getting some money next year. If that happens, I want to take Leah and Marco away with me, out of that bastard's reach. Don't you will never give her permission to take your son out of the country? Maybe the divorce judge will. Bano. No Italian judge is going to go against the father's wishes in a case like this. Did Leah drive to Milano or fly? <laughs> Signor Ministro, Signor che effetto avrà la sua sul corridoio assassino del ragazzo Galliani? 
Sur mio partito nulla, non ci sono elementi sufficienti. Le rapport avec action directe. In questo momento non abbiamo elementi sufficienti per poter giudicare. Mr. President, was it really the Red Brigades, the Gagliani boy? Sono state le Brigate Rosse, il ragazzo Gagliani? Ma Piero Gagliani è stato ucciso con un colpo alla testa. È stata un'azione criminale. Piero Gagliani was shot in the back of the head. It was a criminal action. But why was he shot? Was he involved? Perché è stato ucciso? Era coinvolto? Assolutamente no. Lo tenevano per il riscatto. Poi l'hanno ucciso per comodità. Qui si tratta di veri criminali. Certainly not. He was held for ransom and killed for convenience. We are dealing with criminals. Mr. President, one more question, please. Does your party... Quando lei parla di azione criminale, intende dire che vi sarà un intervento dell'esercito? Ecco, mi stanno... Then bed, presents tomorrow. No, let me go down. Let me go down. Piero Gagliani è stato ucciso con un colpo alla testa. I was at the airport when Aldo Moro gave this press conference. Did you see him on television? He wasn't even watching. Now, would you like to tell me how you got in here past Lena and what you've done with her? <laughs> I thought you were going to get rid of Lena. Yes, but she's good to Marco and Lucio pays her. She's his spy. I know. So, how did you get past her? Well, <laughs> Italo came by, said he'd had a call from you, saying you wouldn't be in until after midnight. And would you please take the extra ticket that he had to the opera and make sure Lena got there. So we hustled her out and managed to leave the door off the latch for me. Lena won't be back till after 11. Italo, I do adore him. Come to bed.
pig. If it weren't for Marco. God, I'm so sick of it all. His brutal arrogance, his filthy Lena. I fired her. She marked you for them. How do you know? She belongs to him. She's his thing. Last night she must have watched. You should have seen when she came in. The satisfaction on her stupid face. It wasn't from the music. When I saw her, I thought, oh God, is it possible? Could she have a lover? Has some blind man, some cretino, brought himself to fuck Lena? <laughs> We must be careful. My lawyer see for now, I must be very, very careful. You realize we've never even been able to wake up together. Never been able to just wake up and roll over and smile. Because we're still together and it's another day. It will be better, I promise you. I have to go and pick up Marco from school. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Do you love me? Yes, I love you. Che Milano. L'eredità di tuo padre era stata sistemata da tempo. E allora cosa c'è a Milano? O meglio, chi c'è a Milano? Io e Marco andremo a vivere a Milano appena il giudice me lo consentirà. Il giudice non ti consentirà nulla. Senti, quando questa farsa sarà finita, io avrò Marco e andremo a vivere a Milano. O all'estero, se la legge me lo permette. Mai. Potremmo andare a vivere in Svizzera. Mi dicono che lì la legge non è tanto tenera con i mariti che picchiano. Cara, la prossima volta che ti picchierò, Forse sarà la volta buona che riuscirò ad ucciderti. Farò in modo che succeda in Italia, anzi al sud dell'Italia. Che ne dici di un rendezvous in Sicilia? Te la sentiresti di venirci con me? Non ci sto più ai tuoi giochi, Lucio. Non mi fai più paura. What happened? Lucio, Lucio, he says I'm morally unfit to be the mother of his son. He's trying to take Mark. Why, because of me? I don't know. All I know is he went to a judge and sworn out some paper. Can he do that? Can he get custody? I don't think so. Not finally. But it's just that if he can't strike out on me directly, he tries to inflict the pain from a distance. I cannot believe there's no way to get that son of a bitch off your back. <sighs> this is Italy. Yeah, well, where's the fucking mafia? Well, I haven't whacked. <laughs> I'm trying to telephone you all day, but you can never get through to this place. Yeah, so what else is new? I come on up to my office. I'll buy you a coffee. Okay. <laughs> so listen, I spoke to Leah. She told me what happened. Oh, yeah. You okay? Yeah, just bruises. Boys were experts. This is really something, huh? Incredible. Christ, how do you get that stuff? How did she know? You don't know where she 
could know is if she had some kind of connection with the Red Brigades. That's highly doubtful. They're very serious people. The uh, reason I was trying to get a hold of you is because Bernier is giving a party tomorrow, and for some bizarre reason, he invited the staff. I can take a guest, and Leah can't make it. You want to come? Sure. Go ahead. I've heard about his villa. Is it true that uh, Bernier works for the CIA? Doing what? Training kitty spies? Well, where does all the money come from? That paper can't make anything. His wife's loaded. Maybe she's CIA. <laughs> Wait till you meet her. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> so this is a <laughs> Damn it! Oh, regalo per te! <laughs> oh, thank you for inviting us, Pierre. And may I introduce my friend? This is Professor Italo Bianchi. Professor Bianchi yes, is head of English and American Literature at the University. Allison, this is David Raybon and Professor Bianchi. Gentlemen, this is the hottest talent to hit this town in a long time. The lady who shot the cover of this week's Time magazine. Allison King. Pierre! Ma che vuoi? Vieni! Pierre! 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 Oh, Pierre! You must lead a very, very charming life. How did you get that stuff? Were you tipped off or what? Blind luck. Seriously? You were just standing there, camera loaded and ready when they came out of the bank? Well, not exactly. Anyway, what are you doing here in Dodge City? I work for Bernier. You look familiar. Have we met? I guarantee you I'd remember. And you're at the university, right? Hmm. So do you think the Galliani boy was connected to the Red Brigades? Oh, no. No, I doubt it very much. Why? I mean, why was the Galliani heir living so openly, so unprotected in Rome? If he wasn't connected, if he wasn't a sympathizer, then he was at least provocative. I think he set it up for them. I think they got the money and they killed him anyway. Non lo so. Chi è il tuo padrone? Non lo so. Vuoi morire per lui? No. E lui? Solo non sai fare il tuo mestiere, ma mi tradisci pure! No! Dai! Ferma! Forza, muoviti! E tu, dai migliore chi? Tutti i valori! Spile! Dai, dai, vai! Voglio di mezzo! Apri che ti vi presto! Dammi quello che voglio, dammi qua! Dammi il portafoglio. Tu! Me lasci! Non è quella, non è! Portafoglio, tu, con gli orecchini, tutto quello che ti porta. Portafoglio. E questi di cosa? Ho detto il portafoglio. Non ce l'ho! Dammi quella. It doesn't come off. Non viene via. Il primo che si muove è un uomo morto! Sorry, it's important to me. Let's go. 
can drop me off at the bridge, you tell her. I'll get out here, too. I've got some business to discuss with David. Can I come by the university and see you? I think you know more about the Red Brigades than you think you know. What I know about the Red Brigades can be read in any magazine or newspaper. But I should be most happy to have you come see me for any reason, whatever. Come on, you must know some of your students were sympathizers at least. I don't know that. What about the Galliani boy? What was he like? He was a quiet boy. Come in. I'll talk to you tomorrow. About the watch. The first time I put my life on the line to get a picture was in Saigon. I saw him throw the bomb. And in a millisecond, I decided to stand my ground. So when the bomb went off, the camera was to my eye, and I caught the explosion in stop frames. One minute, the crowd was sitting there having their morning croissants and coffee. The next minute, everything was airborne. Chairs, tables, arms, legs. And then it was all over. And I was still standing, still shooting. Deliberately snapped a few photos to steady myself before I waded into the gore and finished my role. And the next week, I bought myself this very expensive watch. And every time I look at it, I'm reminded that I can face any catastrophe, <laughs> as long as it's framed. <laughs> a lot of people are repelled by what I do. I want them to look at my pictures and see what I've seen, feel what I felt, to be witnesses. My job is to bring back the bad news and keep the body count. About your friend Bianchi, what are his politics? confused. He's an extremely intelligent man, and decent one. He's in his country follow Mussolini into the chasm, then watch as the Christian Democrats tried to flush it down the toilet, and then try and get in bed with the Communist Party. He's trying to teach young people who are so disgusted with it, all they can think to do is trash it, tear the whole thing down. Well, does he agree with them? Of course he doesn't agree with them. Italo comes from a very well-to-do, correct Roman family. He's not a revolutionary. He's just disgusted and sad. He'd like to be Canadian. <laughs> Italo is not going to lead you to the Red Brigades. What about Pierre Bernier? <laughs> My agent in New York gave me his name and said he was very well connected, might have some contact with the brigades. Not unless they hang out at the press club. What about your politics? Americans in Rome don't need politics. They need American Express cards. I've seen that all over the city. You know what it means? No, what? It means a man was an informer and the Red Brigades found out. I want to do a book about the Red Brigades, but it's been like chasing smoke. You know something from their point of view? Terrorism from the inside. Like looking down a gun barrel? Why not? That's how journalists get kneecapped or killed. How long have you been in Rome? Five years. Haven't you ever thought about doing a book? Every journalist thinks about doing a book. Good night. Wait, I'll walk you to your hotel. Hey, that's all right, thanks. I know the way. Good night.
Non mi hanno detto che avrei avuto visite. E allora? Quanto tempo rimanete? Lasciamo perdere. Di là c'è da mangiare e da bere. Prendete quello che vi serve. Lasciaci soli. Dobbiamo parlare. Facciamo anche alcune telefonate. Su, forza. Vai. È lì il bagno? Sì. Bernier, Pierre Bernier. My CIA contact was Pierre Bernier, who worked as an editor of the English language newspaper. Far from being suspected of radical sympathies, people believed he was a buffoon, but in reality, he was a very important operative of the CIA. Oh, come on, David. Pronto. Hey there, this is Allison King. Now, listen, before you say anything, I booked a table for lunch at Del Bolognese. I've been doing a little research. I had my agent call your agent. I know you're writing a book. I also know that you got a publishing deal when you were in New York. So? So why didn't you tell me? There's nothing to tell. It's not your kind of book. <laughs> what is my kind of book? Well, it's not the kind of book I'm writing. Rome on $10 a day if you like spaghetti. Cute? My publisher thinks so. You're what's cute. I got it from our picture library in New York. Boston University, 1969. David Rayborn, student radical. Led a few demonstrations. Anti-war, pro-abortion, knee-jerk liberal. So what? So here's one I took of you. I knew I'd seen you somewhere before. Not a demonstration or a sit-in. You were the people that blew up that house on West 12th Street. 11th. So don't give me any more bullshit about Rome and spaghetti, okay? I know you're writing a book about the Red Brigades. And I want in. Just like that. You'd be very lucky to have me aboard. Anything a book by you could do on its own, it could do ten times with photos by Allison Kay. I'm sure you're right. But I gotta get back to the office. Check's already been taken care of. Look, would I or any other writer with half a brain doing a story about the Red Brigades try and shut out an Allison King? If I were doing a story about the Brigades, I'd get down on my knees to have you illustrated. Maledetti turisti! Non vi di dimesso!
indicted in the bombing in New York. Why not? Because I wasn't guilty. Sure. Look, I had known somebody who was involved, Peter Weiss. He was in two of my classes. We were friends. He lived in an apartment with six other people, so sometimes he'd come over to my place and crash. The FBI got pictures of us together, Peter going in and out of the apartment. What happened to Peter? Who he was? Look, Allison, I am not and never have been a revolutionary. Yeah. Well, the book you're writing is not and never will be about spaghetti. Get in there. Well, then don't! Of a bitch tried to rip my fucking arm off. Mr. Bruce. You're one of those people who's come to love war. Well, it happens. Does that make me unattractive to you? I'm involved. Well, goodness gracious. Yes, even heavens to Betsy.
Thanks. He's ready for bed. He wants to know if he can have a story. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, a hell of a lot cuter than Lena, you know that? Oh, good idea. <laughs> yes, you can have a story. Paddington Bear, Paddington Bear. Paddington Bear, Paddington Bear. Yeah, why not? He delights to have children of his own. Do you want children, David? That's settled for Marco. Make a wonderful wife. <laughs> Thank you very much. Speaking of possible wives, how's Miss King? I called to ask her to lunch yesterday. She said she was seeing you. Yeah, she came by the paper. After lunch, we got caught in a demonstration. She almost got us killed with that goddamn camera of hers. She's got a death wish. Interesting. Hmm. She's beautiful, gifted, intelligent. You already have a girlfriend who's all those things. But Miss King is also interested in you, right? She's got some idea, some totally loony idea that I can put her in touch with the Red Brigades. Brigades? Why you? I have no idea. She's fixated. There's this book that she thinks I'm writing. She thinks you're writing? Well, that I am writing. Sort of. Trying to write. Really? What about? Well, it's just a sort of how to be a young and impoverished American in love with Rome. What, you mean a travel book? Well, yeah, kind of. I signed a very small deal when I was in New York. David, why didn't you say anything? Congratulations, go and play me. <laughs> Leah, did you know that he was writing a book? What? David, is it true? It's nothing to get excited about. Of course it is. What is it about? It's, it's not about anything. It's not even written yet. I just have some notes and very few of those. I'm hungry. Come on, let's eat. Is it about me? Tutto quello che potevo sulla ragazza americana. È una foto reporter, come ti avevo già detto. È molto interessata ai nostri amici e pare che si trovi a Roma appunto per stabilire dei contatti. E cosa dici delle foto scattate davanti alla banca? Una coincidenza, un colpo di fortuna. E secondo te? Non lo so. Potrebbe essere una spia, ma il mio intuito dice di no. Tu non perdi la divisa. Sì. Senti. Gli amici a casa mia. Perché non mi avete avvertito stavolta? Non ce n'era bisogno. C'è altro. That's this guy who founded the Red Brigades. Curio? Curcio. Donato Curcio. So how come he's been in jail for two years? I mean, with their firepower and all they got going, how come they haven't busted out their leaders? It's not that easy when the government's expecting you. So why don't they heist the Pope as hostage? They don't need the church as an enemy. Okay, so someone like the Fiat guy, uh, Agnelli. I mean, the government would trade him for a curio. And Yelly has a private army around him 24 hours a day. The brigades had any smarts. There's one guy they could take, and the government would have to negotiate. Take a look through those, would you? Try and see what I mean by new layout. Who? Who would they have to negotiate for? Well, work it out, can't you? You're supposed to know something about this country. All I know is how to live cheap. Who? 
Well, who was it who tricked the communists into a compromise with the Christian Democrats? Mm -hmm. Moral. Prime Minister, five times. Knows where all the bodies are buried. The government would have to pay to get him back. <laughs> Good night. Vi får vara till en café, Maja bara en vändning. Forget it, I have. Anyway, I appreciate that you met me here. Against my better judgment. Okay, I'll tell you why I ask you. Your buddy Bianca keeps giving no, me the brush No, Allison, don't do that. Not oh, oh, Allison, please, put it away. For God's sake, Allison, put the goddamn thing away. No, Sorry, okay? Got me in a cuppina. Hey, got me in a cuppina, huh? Grazie. You are too goddamn dumb and dangerous to be around. Ciao! Say to come up to see you sometime. How are you? David, why did you bring her here? She brought me. Alison, no, no, please, no. Shut up, please. My good side, huh? My Carrie Grant side. Did the Red Brigades organize this? Alison, you must understand, if you start asking questions about the Red Brigades, you're putting yourself in much more danger than you realize. What do you advise your students? Well, I don't advise. This isn't Berkeley. I don't play the guru. I try to teach. I just don't believe anyone can stay detached from all this. Talk 
to me. David, David, will you please explain to her that this is dangerous? I'm not asking for any secrets. Who do they think I work for? The CIA? It's a general assumption about Americans. Another time, perhaps. Well, that was a trip to the moon. Doesn't it bum you out not to connect with what's going on in this country? I never have any trouble finding what I want in Italy. But then I don't feel any desire to grab a live wire. Come on, you're a good writer. How come you're not after the big story? I'm busy with other things. Like what? I've seen the American news. It doesn't utilize half your talent. I seem to be applying most of my talent just trying to keep you alive. Oh, come on. Don't hide behind wisecrack. You sound like a refugee from the 60s. My least favorite decade. I'm surprised. I thought you would have loved it. Ten years of phoniness. A decade-long circle jerk. So you're not what you sound like, the last hippie dropout. Dropout? For Christ's sake, I didn't move to Marin County and kick back in a hot tub. I dropped in. I moved to Italy. Speaking of dropping, you want to know where to drop me off? Yes, please, where? Your place? I don't want to get up just yet, okay? I don't have to. I was just writing you a note. Just lock the door and slide the key under when you go, okay? Um, you come back for lunch? Mm. I could. <laughs> Allison, um... You told me there was someone in your life. I understand. I'll see you later.
Ciao, Maria. you tell me you're writing a travel book? It is not what you think is a novel. A novel? About a left-wing professor named Vitalo Bianchi? About a, an editor named Pierre Bernier? A politician named Aldo Moro? Terrorist leaders named Renato Curcio and Nello Marucci? There's no such person as Nello Marucci. I made him up. Well, then he's the only one because everybody else is real. It is a fucking novel. It is the first draft of a fucking novel. I'm going to change all the names. Nobody's going to be recognized but when I'm finished. It's gonna be like Day of the Jackal, General de Gaulle mixed up with fictional ones. I don't like, believe you. It reads like a piece of hard journalism. It is meant to. Every piece of information in that manuscript has been, already been published somewhere else. What about the plot to kidnap Aldo Moro? What is the goddamn plot of the novel? A novel that was written by a man who penetrated a terrorist cell. No one has ever penetrated a terrorist cell. I know one journalist who tried, and he got himself shot in the head and left to die in front of his wife. Now, maybe that is your idea of an acceptable risk, but it is not mine. You know, I almost might believe you if I didn't know something about your life. You know what I think? I think you were in on that bombing in the village. I think you diddled the FBI, got loose, came over here, made some contacts. Now you've got yourself a deal. Just fuck off. I want you out of here now, and I'll take the manuscript, please. anything to you about writing a novel? A novel? Uh -huh. Oh, no. He has a publisher for a kind of uh, travel book about Rome. No, a novel about the Red Brigades. So David doesn't know anything about the Red Brigades? Yeah, that's what he says. Nobody knows nothing, right? Look, this is so infuriating. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. I appreciate some answers. <laughs> now we let you win. <laughs> give me the keys, babe. I don't know. You drove. No. I give you the keys. You didn't give me the keys. David, I gave you the keys to you, you when I came out. Why would we do this? You didn't give me the keys. Marco, shall I carry? No. Look in your pocket. I have the keys. I thought so. <laughs> Giovanni, ho parlato a lungo con l'americana e sono sicuro che non ha legami con i servizi segreti. Perché? Non fa domande che un'infiltrata farebbe. È un'ingenua. Fa delle domande su cose che loro dovrebbero già sapere. Ha letto un romanzo non ancora finito che parla di un rapimento che chiunque altro avrebbe... Una stupida storia inventata su Aldo Moro. Ma chi è l'autore di questa storia? È un su, suo amico. Ma te lo conosci questo amico? Sì. Cioè, so chi è. È vero? Non so come si chiama. Fatelo dire dalla ragazza americana. Anche l'indirizzo. Poi prendi il manoscritto e portalo a casa tua. Ci provo. Ci vorranno un paio di giorni. Stasera? È impossibile. Stasera?
everything, even to yourself. Just stay with me. What are you so afraid of? Getting hurt again or making a mistake with a penniless American? David, it's not money. Or getting hurt. It's... It's... It's knowing that some things are real and some not. Giovanni. Me l'ha scritto? Mi siedo qui, lasciami solo per un po'. Ha la voce diversa. Sono Giovanni qui. Non c'è nessun Giovanni qui. Non c'è nessun Giovanni. Get me some tea, professore. Miss King's room, please. Hello. Allison, somebody trashed my apartment and stole the manuscript. My passport and money are here. Just the manuscript is missing. Did David, you? David, I swear to God I did not take your manuscript. I would never. Did you do talk that. to anybody about I saw it? I Italo yesterday. All I said was that you'd written a novel.
David, you tell me. We're just here on a student visa. We're not trying to take anybody's jobs away. Senta, lei lo copisce da sé. Comunque riportiamo in centrale per accettare. Come posso spiegarmi? Uh, che state senza permesso di lavoro. Sì, sì, sì. Ho capito. Pacchettate di partire. Non c'è stato che lei che sta entrando, che sta entrando, che sta entrando. David. Lei lo prego. Prego. Telefono. Pronto? I'm trying to reach you. Fernie was murdered. We've just been busted for having no work permit. That's the best response the cops have got to a murder. They're taking us down to the station. David, you have to get away. Lives depend on it. You understand? Lives. I have something of yours. At the Cafe Borghese. You've got to get here. Hey, what's that? Hey. Ah, momento, mi borsa. Passport, go. Get it. Get it, get No, mi dispiace, è chiuso. No, un caffè me lo puoi dare. Va bene. Finally, became so disgusted with the greed and the corruption. The total indifference to anything or anyone else. Piero, he... Piero? Yeah. Piero who? Gagliani? We were friends, close friends. He loathed his father, that world. He understood how I felt about what was happening to Italy. But I sympathized with other elements. One of those other elements that got him killed? It was an accident. He set up the kidnapping himself. He was in the trunk for too long. The exhaust pipe was defective. I had to shoot him to make it look like an execution. An execution for what? Being what he was, a Galliani. And why did they kill Bernier for being what he was, an asshole? Your book said that he was CIA. That book which you, my friend, stole like some harebrained opera boot. Don't butter. you understand? They would have killed me. And maybe also Leah. These are serious people. They're fighting. They're putting their own lives on the line to overthrow the government. They would... They're going to take over this country. Oh, bullshit! They're not going to take over anything. All they're doing is killing a lot of innocent people. They're going to wind up dead themselves. Now, let me tell you something, Italo. And I'm going to tell you this very, very straight. I was trying to write a commercial novel. I want money. I want to marry Leah and take care of her. I thought the Red Brigades were... A surefire topic. I've been interested in terrorism. I wanted to write a successful novel. I wanted to write a big novel so I could tell Bernier to shove it up his ass. There is not one single fucking incident in that book which has not been printed somewhere else. I have had no connection ever with any Red Brigade, apart from you. The Aldo Moro kidnapping is an idea I got from Bernier, for Christ's sake. Do you think I would be stupid enough? Well, you must tell them that. 
that Moreau was something that Bernier told don't, you. Don't, 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 don't tell who. David, you're going to have to talk to them. Jesus Christ, I've hit on it, haven't I? They're actually going to try and kidnap Aldo Moro? They're going to have to hold you for a few days, but you must talk to them tonight. Who I've got to talk to are the police. No, 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 you must come with me. Am I fucking feeble-minded or something? Don't make them come for you. Please, I, I, don't, I don't want to lose. I'm sorry, I don't speak Italian. Okay. Adesso cammina fisso accanto al professor Bianchi, la mia pistola non ti lascerà nemmeno un istante. Sì. Perquisiscilo. Che bonito. Perquisiscilo. Pare che hai molto tempo, mi pare, no? Who told you about Operation Morrow? Nobody. I made it up. It is the plot of my novel. True. He knows nothing. <laughs> Now tell me the truth. <laughs> Trouble you. The goddamn fairy tale. <laughs> The American photographer. Does she work for the CIA? No. Then be there to bring her. You killed him for nothing. The Northern faction. They are the ones who betrayed us, right? Ma non vedi che dice la verità? Io non mi prendo la colpa per una falla nella mia sezione. E anche tu hai delle domande a cui rispondere. No! No! Who is this? I have a car downstairs. Italo Bianchi has sent me. There's something he thinks you should see. Okay, I'll be right down. He's dead. It's Lopiak, he's dead. We're next.
I can't explain. There's a possibility you're in danger. Take Marco and get out of the apartment. Marco's with his father. Where are you? We're trying to get to the American embassy. Somebody tried to kill us. Now listen to me. And listen to me carefully. Italo... Italo's been shot. They're after Marco. Allison King and me. She's with me now. We just got away from you. I'll bring my car. Tell me where you are. What where, where did we? The Majestic Cinema. He's in the Borghese Gardens. I heard about Bernier on television. But Italo... Leah, Italo is connected with the Red Brigades. Just emotionally involved. Through a lover. The Galliani boy. You understand? I was supposed to keep watch over Italo. I failed. Bastard. the moral thing was real. Don't you think I'd have warned somebody earlier? Maybe you did. That is something we have to know. I was going to the embassy to do it. We only have your words for that. Ask Leigh. Who else knows about what you are writing, apart from Miss King? What did you say to Leah before we picked you up? What did she say to you in those five minutes? No. She didn't know what I was writing. I swear to God. You look cold. Do you want some tea? Tea. Perché? Perché avrei dovuto fare una cosa simile? Ho dato la mia vita al movimento, per Dio. Tu non rischi la tua vita. Ti è stato concesso. 
di continuare a vivere da ricca, come hai fatto sempre. Per scelta di chi? Per mia scelta. È stata una vostra scelta. Io odio la vita che faccio. Quante volte vi ho chiesto di... Ciascuno di noi svolge un ruolo che gli è congeniale. È assurdo. Che una donna come te e con le tue inclinazioni... Quali inclinazioni? Ah, bene. Siamo arrivati al punto. Tu sei una borghese e ti lascia andare dagli uomini. Cosa borghese? Vi ho già detto che lui non sa nulla. Non sa nulla. La mia vita deve sembrare normale. La mia vita deve sembrare normale. Lui è una copertura, è una copertura come lo sono questi abiti di merda che porto, come la casa dove vivo. Siete stati voi a volere questo, sì. Non io. Io credo nella causa, così come ci crediamo tutti, completamente. Bianchi era innamorato dell'americano. No. Non lo so. Tu eri responsabile per tuo cugino. You are known to our associates in many countries. Why? It's my business to travel, to be where the action is. Political action? Military action. But you have political views. Not that I'd put on a mask for and go out and kill people. Oh, I know it happens. I've seen it often. I've seen why it happens. And I know that it'll always happen. Even in this world, you think you're going to make over. And I'll still take pictures of it. That's what I do.
adesso si comincia. Adesso si comincia. Adesso si comincia. <ride> Allora non sono più sospetta. È una domanda accademica. Anche se non hanno detto niente a nessuno, anche se non hanno visto niente. Adesso sanno troppo. Non lo ucciderei. No. Eh? No. Fuori dall'Italia. Ti mandiamo fuori dall'Italia. Tutto qui. Quadri speciali antiterrorismo sono stati impiegati per controllare i centri di Roma, Milano, Torino, Napoli ed altre grandi città in coincidenza con lo sciopero generale che ha paralizzato il paese in segno di protesta per il sequestro di Aldo Moro. Nessun evento negli ultimi 200 anni ha scosso l'Italia come il rapimento da parte del Brigade Rosse dell'ex primo ministro Aldo Moro. I terroristi hanno chiesto la liberazione immediata del loro capo Renato Curcio e di altri cinque esponenti del Brigade Rosse. Ora il governo ha respinto ogni trattativa con i terroristi sull'esempio di Israele e della Germania occidentale, contemporaneamente a Washington, Londra, Parigi e Timor. Mr. Rayburn, we took the liberty of collecting your passport from your apartment. Miss King? I assume you have yours with you. Do not lose your passports. You will need them. I'm afraid we shall have to blindfold you. We do not want you identifying your whereabouts too easily. Come, please. You're blindfolded. Jesus Christ. I can't help you. I can't. Take pictures. Tell the world how we deal with traitors. Do it!
Get him out of here. Why does anyone write a book? To get something off their chest? To accuse? To make money? It'd be interesting for us over here to get a comment from you over there, Allison, on terrorism vis-a-vis -vis the media. Listen, here in Beirut, it's the terrorists that call the media shots. We're at their service. Right. Well, David, what does that say about a best-selling book like Year of the Gun. Does it promote and prolong terrorism? Uh, well, my book certainly doesn't promote terrorism. I simply wanted to tell the truth. But then when you start to write it down, it turns into something else. I'm not sure what. But you just try and do the best you can and hope to live with it. Have to live with it. Sure, but take a more cosmic view. The 30-year war kept up its merry momentum without any help from our profession. I don't think those of us who simply record events are that important, finally. Maybe that's the biggest thing we have to live with. Well, what you have to live with has certainly turned into a huge bestseller. Thank you, Allison, for being with us by satellite from Beirut. And, of course, Mr. Rayburn, thank you, too. See you again. When we come back from the commercial, we will meet the United Nations ambassador from Iran, Mr. Fredo Hojeda. Right after this, be with us. Okay, we're off. Great. Well, thank you in real life. Bring on the ambassador. So to speak. Ah, Mr. Ambassador, it's nice to see you. I, uh, thanks to meet you because I've not only heard a lot about you, but it's nice to have you here because I thought maybe you would return the invitation. I'm not 